Hey YouTube, it's Budget Bug out with another backpack review. This one from Maxpedition. This is the Tiberon, which is an everyday carry backpack, and I've used this for over a couple of months now. It's only been out for a few months. It's part of Maxpedition's advanced gear research line. Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over the uh, features of the backpack. I'll leave links down below where you can find it, as well as um, all of the items that are inside. Um, like I said, I'll be leaving links for all these down below. This is not a paid endorsement for Max Position or anything like that, but this is a review, um, and I'm gonna be talking about my thoughts and my experience uh, with this backpack. So stay with me. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. Okay, so right off the bat, you can see that there is a kind of a Velcro space where you can put morale patches and name tapes. Um, and also, as far as the material goes, this is very strong material. I'll annotate uh, the exact specs of, of the bag. Um, but uh, my experience is that it's very strong. You're not going to have to worry about anything ripping or tearing on you. And, and the um, uh, shoulder straps, very ergonomic, very comfortable. Um, great airflow through here and great support for the, the waist strap and, uh, and the sternum strap. So um, no issues whatsoever. That's actually part of the reason why I have been using this as much as I have uh, as my everyday carry bag. Um, as a reviewer of gear, I like to rotate through at different backpacks, different knives, etc., etc. Um, but I've been using this because I, really I enjoyed it. Although I will have to say that uh, some of the features um, I didn't like right off the when I first got this bag. So let's go ahead and look at some of those features now. So inside this admin uh, pouch, um, you can see that um, we got mesh, little zipper pocket here, and inside I have, you know, some everyday carry items, Altoids, I have head sanitizer, chapstick, um, eye drops, and then over here I have my flashlight, this is the S10 Baton from Olight, and we also have the Spyderco Delica 4. Um, now, you can also see, uh, now these, these elastic, um, whatever you wanna call them, um, sleeves, I guess, but they're, they're very strong, very rigid, very durable. However, um, the Sharpie and pen that I put in here, they slide out all the time, so I basically, you should just put them right here. Uh, it's not a big issue, uh, but it is uh, somewhat disappointing with the, uh, the the design of this admin. I don't know why they didn't why they put it here and not on this side where it normally is. Um, but moving on, um, just some other items in here. So there is a, a a little bit. They have a little pocket back here that I have a, a first aid kit in. And I'm not gonna go over all of the items that are inside here, but you can see I have one. I also have a corn purse. Uh, this is also from Expedition. Inside I have a Euro as well as US dollars and um, Euro coins and quarters. Um, and then in this other coin purse, oh, by the way, this can open up and fold flat. Uh, the other coin purse also from Expedition. I keep some electronic items, including headphones and a charger, that, which uh, can double as USB as well as iPhone. And then we have the tube from Nightcore, which is a keychain light that's powerful and also is charged from a USB charger. And then we also have um, CR123A batteries, which power not only uh, the Olight baton that you just saw, flashlight, uh, but also another flashlight that I'm gonna show you all here in a second. Um, so that is the pocket, that's the outside pocket. Um, and I'll put some of these items back in here in a second. But we also have another small pocket here at the top, right behind the uh, name tape uh, Velcro area. And I, I really liked the Rift Core uh, version where it, it has a, a rigid structure that I can put sunglasses in. I, there's really not a place where I can put sunglasses in on this bag and I've kind of got spoiled from the other bags that I've tested because um, I really missed that. And then and putting it in here, it just is not very safe and it's, I just don't, it's not a good place to put um, sunglasses in my opinion. 
Um, but here I just basically, if I need to get to work uh, and I just want to shove something in really quick uh, to bring with me, that's what I use this uh, pocket for. I keep it empty. Um, moving on to the uh, the large, the larger compartments. Now this isn't the main one, uh, but this is the uh, basically basically there's two main compartments. This is the smaller of the two. Um, but you can see we have once again this uh, mesh line the zipper pocket. And here this is this is where I keep a lot of more survival like items. And here we have um, ferrocene rod with compass and a, a whistle, uh, along with a brucher bar that can be used uh, to uh, baton wood. We also have five Zippo lighters, or not Zippo, but Vic lighters, and a live fire uh, tinder, as well as some other tinder matches, and um, a syringe for cleaning the water filtration system that I have that I'll show you here shortly. And then we also have a couple pockets back here, and each one of these, uh, I have the exact same thing, uh, but it's, uh, it's some insect repellent, ponchos, which also has um, some tissue paper, a toilet paper, and then a uh, survival poncho with mylar. And then here we have a w military woobie, aka a poncho liner. It's so many uses, but it's mostly meant for comfort in the woods, you know, just kind of keeping you warm and keeping you off the, off the ground uh, as well. And then here we have a large Fresnel lens, which using direct sunlight is a reusable fire starter. So those are all the items that I keep in this um, in this compartment here. Now let's go ahead and move on to some of the side compartments. All right, moving on to side compartment number one, we have some everyday care items such as this uh, uh, outlet uh, adapter, um, and this, use, this can be uh, used with a USB as well as you know with a regular power outlet cords. And then the, I've done a review on this, but this is also from Expedition, but I've created a knife sharpening uh, and maintaining kit. And you guys can check out that video. If you like, I'll link it in the description box down below. But those are the items that I keep in this pocket. Now let's go ahead and go over the other side pocket. Okay, now in this pocket we have more survival items. So you can see we have a, a flashlight that has a couple different modes, but it can also be used as area lighting and it can be uh, charged with a solar, um, the solar panel, as well as it can be charged with USB and it can charge USB items. So I really like uh, this item and you know be able to continue to recharge things like cell phones or whatnot you know if your if your car breaks down uh, we also have some hua field wipes some water filtration and pure purification items and then we have a mini survival kit and if you guys haven't checked out my video on this uh, be sure to do so. I got cordage, I have a, a fixed blade knife, and as well as all the 10 C's of survival and more that uh, survival expert David Canterbury recommends. Um, so those are all the items that I keep in that side compartment. So let's go ahead and dive into the main compartment of the backpack now. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look inside the main compartment. Now one of the things I wanted to mention is also that these <laughs> zippers for these two compartments um, can use a lock in order to secure them and also there is a, a compression strap on either side but I don't really don't use those features but I figured I should mention them in case they interest you. Um, moving on to this zipper pocket once again we got that mesh material kind of translucent and we just got a bunch of items including a light my fire a spoon and fork we we'll also have a Surefire flashlight, a Spyderco Tenacious folding knife, and a more fixed blade with ferrocene rod inside the handle, and a Bic lighter. So that's everything inside there, and inside this main area here, um, I just have a few items, including this uh, FTV from Expedition. 
um, which you can put this on your nightstand, you can put a desk at work, uh, which is where uh, th this, find this finds itself every day, one of those two places, uh, so, or I'll take it on the road. And this is just a good way to keep all of my items from my pockets in one location. And moving on to these other items in here, I have a baby roll that has uh, extra sock and shirt and underwear. I have my water bottle. And just got a folder. I can just just, just show you the uh, the size because um, there's a a little pouch that can hold a water bladder um, or it can also hold a tablet. Um, but inside here we also have this kind of a, a, a loop, uh, and I, I kind of wish that this was reworked. So that way it was just it was just kind of more of a hanger than it was uh, kind of a loop that can be adjusted. And um, a lot of times I find myself, uh, I find this uh, kind of opening on accident, um, just, just like that, and this can slide right off. Um, so I kind of wish that, that feature was changed because um, I think it's just going to be a dangling ribbon at some point. Um, but there are grommets. There's a couple of grommets on this backpack so that if anything does happen, a water bottle or the bladder, um, it will drain out the side or drain at the bottom. But I also wanted to show you this final compartment. Kind of a, a secret hidden pocket on the bottom, which holds the basically shell that way it can keep the backpack rainproof and I say rainproof and not waterproof because say waterproof it implies that you can submerge it um, but yeah you can put this over your backpack keep all the rain off of it anyways guys so that is my review of the Maxpedition uh, tribe Triberon or whatever, however you pronounce it. I think it means shark in a different language. Um, but let me know what you guys think of this review. Um, it is kind of pricey. This backpack is over $200. Um, but I can definitely tell the difference between this and some of my uh, budget backpacks that I rotate through. Um, in fact, I have another one that I'm about to review and uh, or at least start the process of, you know, feeling it out and everything. And the materials between this and the other one um, or like night and day. So you do kind of get what you pay for, uh, but there are some features that I would like to see change some expedition if you're seeing this. Um, I would really lose that hanger system for the water bladder and I would uh, kind of rethink some of your admin pockets as well as pockets that you can put sunglasses and whatnot. But maybe you change those things because of feedback that you got from previous models, I'm not sure. Um, those are just my personal opinions. Uh, let me know yours in the comment section down below. Uh, Y'all uh, like, share, and subscribe, of course. And remember that it pays to be repaired. Uh, so whether it be this everyday carry bag or another everyday carry bag, uh, let me know what you guys keep in yours in the comment section and uh, what other bags uh, or experience that you have with Max Vision. I'd, I'd love to hear uh, those in the comment section too. Y'all stay safe out there and remember it pays to be repaired. God bless.